Hello, this is Vicar Dave from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church with your encouraging word of the day. Often in Scripture, we read about the apostles and other followers of Christ and never get beyond the context of that place and time. That's the purpose in studying the brutal ends many of Christ's faithful endured. It helps us to see beyond to the fulfillment of Scripture. According to Luke, in the book of Acts, James, the son of Zebedee, the elder brother of John, was a relative to our Lord through his mother Salome, a cousin to Mary, Jesus' mother. Ten years after the death of Stephen, Herod Agrippa was appointed governor of Judea and raised a sharp persecution against the Christians in order to win favor with the religious leaders. Clemens Alexandrinus records that as James was led to the place he would give his life, the accuser was brought to repent of his conduct by the apostles' extraordinary courage and undauntedness. The very person who brought charges against James fell down at his feet to request his pardon, professing himself a Christian and resolving that James should not receive the crown of martyrdom alone. Hence, they were both beheaded at the same time. The year was A.D. 44, and scripture was fulfilled for James, who, in Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 39, resolutely told our Savior he was able to drink the same cup Jesus would drink. Let us pray. Abba Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, through your word and your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you have begun a good work in us. Strengthen us, lead us, and encourage us to give all that we have for you and the salvation of those who see our faithfulness and respond to your call. Amen. May the peace of God give you rest this evening.